Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Beer, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. The Alpha! Stop that west, brother! <laughs> Rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Singing! <laughs> <laughs> 
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. When we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still see Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, my man. What? The most annoying man alive.
Careful, that's the Alpha. Top five. <laughs> What's she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept him from leaving Midgard. Neithog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lap dog. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. <clears throat> See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Have some five rocks on me! Oh, I did cool 
will forever do to you. Did you want some more? Slow down! Ah! 
What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> well, let's just go home, you ain't love. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> 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 This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. <laughs> you are in way over your head! I don't know if we are breaking fate or fate's breaking us.
at least the rescue's going well. Keep going! We're almost! 
caught in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. That's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. 
Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I was the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so we can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Oh, party at Sindri's house, huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanier god proud. Gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. <laughs>